Pratt's room. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Brad. You and Gerald seem to get along pretty well. Yes, he's a good friend. They're having a blast. I noticed. Uh, you two go way back. No, I actually first met him here. How long have you been here, Brad? Couple of weeks. We actually arrived at the same time with Gerald. Sounds nice. So, how long are you planning to stay here? A month, if that's enough. I wonder how long I'm going to stay. Ha, <laughs> you will need to ask Clifford about that. Mm, true. But I'm off now. See you later, Brad. See you. Davy's room. Hello? Hey, what's up? My name is Jacob. Yes, I don't believe we have met. My name's Devey. Nice to meet you, Devey. I just got here, it's my first day. Welcome, Jacob. I've been here for some days now. Uh, so you like it here? It's okay, I guess. As long as I have my guitar, I'm happy. Oh yeah. Was it you playing the piano earlier today? Hardly playing. I'm not much of a pianist. But I don't make too seriously and it's fun, no matter what the instrument. Good thinking. Say, you have problems with your guitar? Sort of. It won't stay in tune no matter what. I could offer my assistance, though I'm not sure I understand much about guitars. No thanks, I think I'm fine. Okay, well, hopefully you'll get it sorted out. I get going now, have fun. Thanks. You too, Jacob. Oh, snow alone. Would you like to start ter therapy? This will end day one. Yes. Evening, Jacob. How are you feeling? Evening, Doc. I'm okay, I guess. I talked to other patients and had a look around. I'm still quite puzzled, though. I don't even know how I got in here. You came here yesterday. Don't you remember, Jacob? I hope you don't mind me saying, but you looked absolutely terrible. But that's alright. You are here, so we can help you. But I... I was in this house, and I wasn't alone. There was something besides me. I... Calm down, Jacob. It's okay. Would you tell me about this house? Uh, covered in ashes. Describes it good enough. There was something about that house. Can you remember how you first felt when you walked in that house? It is hard to describe. I felt relieved, but at the same time something was pulling me down. But for a brief moment I actually felt something. This is interesting, Jacob. I take it you feel numb inside? Something in that house has awakened something in you? Was it a hope you felt, Jacob? Uh, I guess. This is a good thing, Jacob. Okay, let's leave that as it is now. Earlier you said you knew me from... Was it a motel? Yes, you were, you were playing a guitar in this motel. I walked by and we talked and... And what did we talk about, Jacob? At first you asked me if I did not remember you. You obviously knew who I was. You told me you were there to help me and you did. Jacob, are you 100% sure? It was me. There's no doubt about it. Hmm, this is something I would like to take a closer look at. I'd suggest we start with hypnotherapy, Jacob. 
I would like you to focus on that day and take that very moment we first met. Close your eyes and relax. Hypnotherapy. So the doctor wants to talk with Jacob's subconsciousness. The subconsciousness can remember things. Persons in a wake state can't remember at all. And this is something which really works. Because the mind records everything, but actual thinking filters things you don't need to know so you only see the important things well, let's see what came out of Jacob's mind Whoa. yeah there is a psycho doctor What the hell is this? Good evening, Jacob. I'm... am I really here? Focus, Jacob. You are safe and sound. Is this the place you first talked to me, Jacob? Yes, no doubt about it. All right, Jacob. I want you to take it... take a closer look around. There must be more than meets the eye. I can offer you my help, Jacob. Take this lens will show you things that are buried in your mind. It is of great importance to understand. Okay, thanks Clifford. Now we have a lens to recall things which Jacob has forgotten. We can see the balloon from the birthday present. So have I to interact with this balloon? There are more bal balloons. Oh, there's a sign. When rain keeps falling, I will notice. And wind blowing with a cold hand rocks the cradle of a child preparing a new journey to the coming road of unknown. So, yeah, I can make this lens really great, but I don't really think and see anything new, right? Oh, here's a red balloon now. Why is this one red? the zoom out uh, then the balloons they turn red uh, with the right zoom on uh, so I have to make them all red strange uh, here's another one okay oh the rain is getting stronger I think that's it what about the light yeah that's it heavy rain Now he remembers the day you went to the cliff. 
and fell backwards. Okay, another memory. There are red lights. Candlelight. Oh. It's another game with the ballon balloons. Okay. Again, I have to make them all red by zooming in and zooming out. singing gets distorted. It's getting stranger, right? Oh my god. We can see uh, mm. candles all over the place. Why is that? Come on, balloon. Mm, oh. Bigger. Uh, come on now. The last one. We got them all. Okay. Baby crying. Can hear baby cries. Blood. Oh what? Guilt. Guilty. Guilty. Do I have to use that door? Yeah. Jacob, are you all right? No, I'm far from being all right. It's so messed up. Focus, Jacob. What did you see? I don't know, Clifford. I... Try to calm down, Jacob. I understand it must be difficult, but you must try to focus. Try telling me exactly what you saw. I saw... Red balloons. Blood. A writing. What did the writing say? That is the scary part. Guilty. Guilty? That is interesting, Jacob. Interesting and very important. It is the work of your subconscious mind. Jacob, do you blame yourself for something? I can't remember. But it's getting obvious I have done something. Guilty, indeed. You are blaming yourself. The mind is a fragile thing, Jacob. It goes to great lengths to protect itself. But we are making great progress, Jacob. The answer lies within. I hope you are right, Clifford, though. I'm not sure I want to learn the truth. I'm scared of it. I understand, Jacob. Okay, you said you also saw red balloons? Yes. Yes, what's that all about? Hard to say. I could symbolize joy or hope. Or maybe it's a concrete thing, a fragment of memory. Jacob, it was a rough trip to take. I think we should call it a day. Nothing works as well as rest after all. 
I agree with you. I'm exhausted. Jacob, try to keep your head up. We truly made some progress today. Okay. Okay, thanks, Clifford. It's my pleasure, Jacob. You should head to bed now. We can talk more tomorrow. Is he having a bad dream or what? It's an elevator. It's the painting of a woman and a child. Oh, back at the moon bar. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would you like to have something to drink? Uh, this time... That's fine, sir. What am I doing here? I invited you, sir. Why? You are in grave danger, sir. What do you mean? That place is not what it seems. Not at all. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I follow. Yes. That man is good, really good at what he does. Uh-huh. You mean Clifford? Yes. That's what he is called. Uh, but... Now listen to me, sir. You can not trust him. But he was... He has been helping me. Why should I believe you? Yes, I understand. He appears as a friend. But think about it. Has he done anything concrete to help you? He is all words, wordless words. You said this to me yourself. No, you are playing tricks on me again. Your words truly hurt me, sir. Take a moment. Have I done anything but help you? I'm still your only real friend. I'm trying to look after you. But you keep rejecting me. Sorry, it's also confusing. Yes, I understand that, sir. I understand how everything, including me, must appear to you. Tomorrow, try to leave that place. You will find that there's always something stopping you from leaving. Uh, yes, I believe my warning was a success. Be cautious, sir. Okay. What the fuck are we supposed to believe now? I don't know. Yeah. It's all kinda messed up. Jacob does nothing. Knows nothing. We know nothing. That dream. I'm not sure I believe him, but I should talk to Clifford right away. Day 2. Apprehension. Apprehension, okay.